Here's a nifty little thing I didn't realize you could do with the Baofeng UV5R. If you've ever removed and put your antenna back on multiple times, you may have found that this little nut here has come loose. And I mean, you can use a screwdriver or a pair of pliers or something to tighten it up, but what about if there was an easier way? Well, it seems that Baofeng actually thought about this. If you pull the volume knob off of the radio, there's actually four little notches there that fit in perfectly and you can remove and tighten the screw. There you go. Have you ever come across a repeater and you don't know what tone CTCSS it uses? Hit menu, go to RCTCS, which is currently off, press menu, and select a tone, it doesn't matter which one it is, we're gonna select 67, press menu, that then confirms it, hit menu again, and press the scan button, and you'll see that CT is now flashing. Now we wait for the repeater to key up, and there we go. It's now found it on the correct frequency. Here's a quick way to change the output power on a Baofeng UV5R. Rather than going into menu and scrolling all the way down to menu item number two to change the power from low to high, do it this way instead. You can see now I am on high power. Simply press the hash key and that switches to low power. High power, low power. You'll notice that I've got a two meter repeater programmed up in here with a negative offset. We can have a look in the menu and see that it is a negative offset 600 kilohertz down, which is the standard for a two meter repeater. Now, if I'm listening to the repeater and I wanna see if I can actually hear the person on the input, all I need to do is press the scan button or the star button here, and it goes to reverse. And now I can listen on the input. Audio level is low. If you're getting complaints about your Baofeng UV5R being a little bit quiet on the transmitted audio, then try this out. This might be your problem. You'll notice that this little N up here, this might be your problem. What's happening is, is the radio is in narrow mode rather than wide mode. So hit the menu button, scroll up to menu item number five, and you'll see narrow, hit menu again, and change it to wide. Now let's give it a try. Audio level is normal. VK7HH testing one, two, three, four, five. 